Uh, hi everyone. So in this video, let's talk about a few formatting elements and HTML5 paragraphs, HTML5 heading and the basics of HTML5 attributes. I mean attributes are everywhere. Either you write image tag, either you create a link, either you create a HTML5 forms. HTML tags, HTML attributes and global attributes are everywhere. Whenever you write any tag, you can just correlate with that. Okay. So these are some of the formatting tags we have in HTML5. Text formatting means it just gives you some special meaning if you wanted to make uh, text bold, italic, or if you wanted to just, these are the uh, formatting elements. If you wanted to make a bold, if you wanted to make a strong as an important text, if you wanted to make a text bold, uh, if you wanted to make a text small, deleted text, inserted text, subscript and superscript. Okay, these all different tags are used while you write your text and you wanted to make it formatting, like you wanted to bold it, you wanted to show a text as a strong message. In that case, you can use a bold, you can make, you can use a strong. Okay, these are just the basics just uh, for understanding. Okay, this is how you can use them. And whenever you need to show a particular text on the site or on the website, something like that, that, that then you can use it. Uh, heading tags are divided into H1 to H6. Okay, they have their own font size specified. Okay, H1 will be the bigger than H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. But you can also override it, which we discussed that. Okay, I, if I wanted to override H1, then I will see the font size for my H1 is the font family will be Roboto, something like that. And font size, I will have like, okay, 40 pixel. Okay, then all the other things like if you wanted to put a color, then you can just define a color for it. All the formatting you can do. So by default, browser is giving uh, the font size. These are the inbuilt browser styling it will give to h1 but if you wanted to customize it you can just override the styles and you can just give your own okay this is my standard font site for for h1 in my website this is the font family i will use this is the color all the font declarations all the customization you wanted to add so you can see all the font family font feature font stretch font style all the font variants you can see all the different styles color you can see all the styles i mean there is a big number of lists of styling a particular node okay coming back to uh, the heading so this is how you can define the heading in some cases you might also hold will be defining some class if you wanted to give a special behavior sorry no need of dot heading and similarly in the h2 you can be defining some class some id whenever you give an id on uh, just Always, always just remember that you should not duplicate it. Just a best practice you can keep. H1 ID should not be there on this page if, if it is defined here. Okay. Now coming back to the paragraph tag. Paragraph tag is simple. It just used to wrap around the elements. If you are writing a huge number of text, okay, and you want a line break, then you can just use a two different paragraphs, right? So simple like I am writing a three different paragraphs here. I'm writing a big text and I want a different segments so it will do a line break automatically because it's a block element like a div okay so this is the paragraph 1 paragraph 2 paragraph 3 okay this will display it like this and uh, finally we, if we talk about the HTML attributes attributes are everywhere either you define an image tag or anchor tag like a s r c anchor tag this is called anchor tag here you define href and okay this is my link similarly we have an image src l tag is an attribute right so these are the attributes which we define anchor tag if you see src tag src attribute in the image element width height you can also define the width and height to make your image look big so here you can see okay 200 that is 300 okay it will take that in the pixels and it will show you L attribute is a specify the alternate text to be used if image cannot be displayed okay so these are the attributes these are the sum of the tags now we can just talk about uh, some other like HTML HTML quotations HTML comments quotations are nothing but uh, these are the some standards like when you write a blog or something right 
you wanted to write a block quote okay like if i just added something in the bottom block quote what it is doing is it will do here is the quote like if you are just put getting a quote from some scholar then you wanted to highlight okay uh, this is a particular quote i am putting uh, for this particular so here this particular quote i am putting and so this quote will just get indented from the left hand side okay so we covered all these things now if you if you want to do just take a look on to more so there are these are the different tags which we can look at html comments html comments are nothing but we just put a comments html colors uh, okay that we can take a look i mean how we are defining the colors and styling for a particular node like uh, there are many ways to color a particular node which we have already seen you can just make inline styles you can create a index.css we already have so we can define it there okay like h1 tag and paragraph tag i'm using here so i put a background color similarly you can define a color background color font size font family all these attributes you can put in inline style or inside a head you can specify the style tag and add it here or you can just like here i am added I have already added index.css so in the inside index.css you can define all these rules it's a simple like uh, if I wanted to specify background color for h1 so this will be applied for everything h1 background color is blue okay font family is this is this got impacted right and font size font family similarly you can just customize it background color is something like this okay so this is how these colors can be specified in the different ways either you can use rgb value hex value and all rgb value is something like this i mean you have seen this thing uh, if i just talk about rgb values rgb value is red green blue so you are just specifying okay either you see a hex code something like this this is one way to define a color or you can just see RGB and here you can specify 255 red blue green values and it will convert it accordingly okay or you can specify the hex code hex code is just a color like if I wanted to specify the hex code as a white and I remember white is all 5 all F so it will give a white background to this H1 tag similarly the then hsl value hue saturation and i think lightness then that is H hsl value you can also add so hsl is 0 and 100% and 50% i mean we rarely, rarely use this we are fine with this hex code and sometimes we use the rgb if you wanted to just change the behavior of how it look like right so you can just take a look on the rgb value uh, or hex code or hsl values so this can be used across anywhere i mean you might be using a transparent background so you will be using rgb value you, you might be using the solid colors so in that case you will be using the hex code hex code is just a hash and then six strings six characters so there are i mean all these colors are divided in these hex code so if i just give you a simple example how it works so we can just take input type color yeah this one so here you can see all these different variations i'm making right brightness it's not the right example to show you all these shell values and all but these are the different variations i can put right so these are just nothing but the hex code values or rgba value i'm just trying to display right in the input type color so these are the html5 colors and we use it in the styling just to style our background style the text of a color style of a background of our page a background of our text or background of our divisions so the the simple color names you already know okay some green blue black all these but you can create a n number of color combinations from there there are many colors available okay some colors you can just put like tomato violet green black blue some are the combinations of one or two colors 
and these are the color values can be specified in the three different formats which I talked about. It can be a RGBA, it can be a hex value. These are the possible options which we can use. RGBA, hex value and HSF. Okay. Thanks everyone.